I am infinitely grateful to finding you alone, Miss Price. As William's sister, you should be the first to know, and I could hardly have borne to share my news with anyone else. He is made. Your brother is a lieutenant. I cannot tell you how delighted my uncle, the Admiral, was with him. Has this been all you're doing, Mr. Crawford? Good heavens! How kind, how very kind! It was my motive for going how to London very to... kind of you, dearest William! I must go at once and tell my uncle... Wait! Please, wait! My motive was twofold. Everything I have done has been on account of my love for you. My excessive and unequaled love. Oh. You have created feelings in my heart which I have never known before. I beg you not to talk to me in this way, Mr. Crawford. It is very unpleasant for me. I cannot bear it. Fanny, believe me, I offer you my hand and my fortune. Can you not give me your answer? No. No, no. This is all nonsense. Oh. Do not distress me. Your kindness to William makes me more obliged to you than words can express. But, but I do not want... I, I cannot bear... Uh, no, don't think please. of me. I know this is all nothing. You cannot please. be thinking of me. Why have you no fire in here? I am not cold, sir. I never sit in here long at this time of year. But you have a fire in general? No, sir. Well, how comes this about? There must be some mistake. I understood you had the use of this room by way of making you comfortable. It's very bad for you to be in a room where there's no fire. You're not strong. Your, your aunt cannot be aware of this. No. Indeed, Lady Bertram... But my Aunt Norris... I understand, I understand. Your Aunt Norris believes that young people should be brought up without indulgences. And she is also very hardy herself, and no doubt her caution was kindly meant. Uh, now, Fanny, I must speak to you about Mr. Crawford. You must believe that I am exceedingly happy at his proposal. We both honour your modesty... Pray accompany me downstairs to where he's waiting. Mr. Crawford ought to know. He must know. I told him quite without disguise that it was very disagreeable to me and quite out of my power to return his good opinion. I do not catch your meaning.